Hello everyone, Leo here, Chilean physician and science fiction author, and it's been a while. Something that I think I say it in a lot of videos, but well, anyway. <laughs> so I had been traveling around, uh, but I'm already back. Okay, let's fully back, let's say. You're goddamn right. And I just wanted to make a video just to perhaps share certain aspects of, um, of how I feel in terms of my case of being a physician writer in terms of being a medical doctor that's active you know as a practitioner as well as an author that has you know duties with a with a publisher let's say so it's both are kind of jobs like you know what i mean duty? <laughs> it's not that kind of duty but it was hard for me to kind of get an idea of how i wanted to express that but i think that's in the way the idea itself um it's not that i'm trying to be meta or anything like that it's just that it's just that i do believe uh in general that the fluidity of certain aspects or ways of being and certain ideas you know they, they change all the time and somehow i believe that also has to do with how can i uh there not ready work within these two activities because you know medicine and literature for me it's like each of those are whole worlds and and most of the times i don't have them together at all you know it's like separate worlds but at the same time you know i inhabit both of them at the same time but not really but yes you really are crazy and i think that way it's also it also comes from perhaps the way I like to rationalize things in terms of how I, I like to, you know, guide my way of thinking, my intellect or my general philosophical ideas. And, and that would be, in a way, you know, like this accepting of a certain ambiguity and contradictory elements and complementary elements and, you know, that dancing between those two always existing and that change is constant and not anything that's static so i myself for example i i i truly love uh to talk with people i talk with people a lot those those who know me will, will probably laugh at that because i speak I, I talk a lot <laughs> it's hard to make me shut up um but it's because i truly love listening to different ideas i mean and I'm, I'm one of those that i'm not afraid to embody one idea one day and the next another just to explore it alrighty then but not get and not to be carried away by that you know I, I I like that I like that the possibility of knowing something one day and the other and the other day knowing something else and having a different idea altogether I don't like that rigidity in general that you know it's it's valid I think everything it is and so that's why I think it, it it's, it's interesting to share at least this form of existing in this super broad wide categories of possibilities in in our immense human society because of course if this one's mine uh, I must share it I mean I, I there must be plenty of other millions of people that also have this type of attitude perhaps or this type of uh, way of being and and if someone would ask me about that, how how do I carry on with medicine and literature? I would say it would start with that, you know, with that idea of the dynamic, of the always changing, of the always moving in a way, of the not rigid, of the ah, kind of in a running way, not a way, but way. Uh, uh, and that also gives, in my case, I think gives me certain flexibility to be able to do these activities. You know, to focus on medicine, medicine in the morning and then in the afternoon I can work on something that I'm writing. But of course it also has its own frustrations and limitations, which is always the other part that you gotta mention to make, I think, to, to make your, the idea you wanna express more sincere. Well, that's easy to remember. In, in, in this, well, I think medicine is something that's easily 
<clears throat> more easily reached in terms of um, ideas or stories that you see around you hear around um, but when it comes to writing things it's easy to get sometimes frustrated that you may not have certain schedule certain amounts of times and center certain ways you know because I think it's most common to find around certain writing tips that would come along with you know with the uh, scheduled way of doing it which is valid of course <clears throat> but as you know as as Cortázar said a great Argentinian writer is that's not always the case um, and to me that that's how it works you know I I do not have any schedule sometimes I do get this writing inspiration sometimes I don't um, when I do get the time just go with it but there is this kind of uh, of this this um, enjoyment as well as suffering not in a dramatic way I mean yes but no in terms of achieving that stuff but I think if you ask me that's itself what allows me to do this to, to be a medical doctor as well as a writer um, I believe that's the key element of how I do it. Um, that idea, that philosophical idea of the multiplicity of elements always moving within itself, showing different parts of itself, it's both a limitation but itself the tool that would let me do all of this. And so uh, that's something that I wanted to share. I don't know. Getting dark and before 5 p.m. It's not even winter, by the way. And this is not Scandinavia. I'm in Chile. And it's getting really dark. I don't know why. Winter is here. But you know, what? Well, I don't know. But it won't be like this all the time. So, I don't know. I don't know how to end up this. That's it. I'm a physician writer. And that's how it works. That's how it goes. Love you all. See you next in the next video, I guess. Goodbye, take care.